Hello beautiful Pisces, welcome back to Intuitive Energies. If you haven't seen this morning's reading, I would go check that out. It was quite interesting because we were dealing with uh, sexuality and sensuality. Um, if you think of the root, the sacral and the solar plexus chakra, this is all in the, um, especially the sacral, is into the sexuality of humanity. And it's something that in, I guess... I would say in the last little bit, last little bit being, you know, maybe, I don't know, quite a bit, um, there's a good and a bad, I feel like there's a good and a bad always being preached by um, our bodies being free. First of all, diseases and stuff, and um, and the no-nos of certain religion. Oh, you can't do that. Sexuality is... It, you know right away that it's a very powerful thing, because it's, it's so very talked about, or so very taboo. Either or. There's no kind of middle of the road with it. But what happens with this, and especially why I was brought up this morning for tripping the light fantastic and to dance with the universe and really tapping into that energy and bringing it a new perspective with the hangman, especially with the moon, it's telling you that we have to look at it in a different way. Okay, this beautiful sens sensuality is, uh, is, is helping through fire, through passion, this fire that we're going to be living in, it can really help us attract what we want. It is definitely part of our energy field. So we need to be really tapping into it in a way that's going to help everybody around us and ourselves, okay? It's not solely about the sexual pleasure, uh, it, but it is a, definitely an attractive um, quality that you can use, a tool that you can use to help attract the right people in your life to make you feel better as well because it raises your vibration as well and to not be afraid of it as well Pisces okay if you've done the work if you've helped yourself in life it's time to really tap into those things that and it, it really is a different perspective okay I had, I had to deal with that for a long time in my life. It was one of my things as when I came that I had to deal with, I mean, in this journey. So, um, yeah, it still feels odd for me to be open about that stuff. But And it's something that I would really reserve for personal readings when I do them. But uh, they want me to broach this, so I will. <laughs> I will. All the colors, okay? All the colors are Pisces. All right. So I'm going to pull a card from, ooh, right. The Oracle of the Fairies. Oh, I like this. Okay. So we have lost and found. What was one lost is about to be found. Thanks to the lost and found fairy. Sometimes she can help us find things we never even realize we're lost. So they're speaking of this thing that a lot of us may have buried, maybe, our sensuality. Okay, either because it could be a myriad of things. It could be aging. It could be um, abuse. Okay, it could be all kinds of things. Um, but we have been working on those chakras. So if you have been doing the work and healing yourselves from anything, of even looking in the mirror and liking what you see, okay, you will find this beautiful energy that's extra energy that you can tap into. That's the important part. That's what they're getting at, okay? Because if you think of spirituality, if you think of spiritual being, sexuality has very little to do. It's a very human thing, okay? A body-to-body -body thing is a very human thing. But the energy of sensuality, let's just put it in there, um, This it's more than sensuality. It's an attractive light. It's a brilliant you know, glowing light of attractiveness. It's it's something different than what we call it in the human realm, okay? And it's a very important component. It helps with building what we want and working towards our um, our goals and our and our fulfillment. Okay? So just remember that. Okay. Underneath you have pure intention and 
it says the fairy of manifestation will help you to use your wishes wisely manifest your heart's desire with pure intention for the highest good of all um, and this was brought in because I feel that there's a stigma behind sensuality that people say oh people manipulate other people with sexuality sensuality and attraction and all of this this is the words pure intention really came down like a that's what I mean it, this isn't about that this is about your pure intention to bring to you what you want to manifest and using that attraction power to bring it to you okay so I hope that helps okay let's see here we're gonna pull some of this Oof. okay I'm using the Healing Light Tarot because I really feel that for some, um, while I was reading this morning, even though I felt really uh, <laughs> weird about it, um, for some of you, it's it's something that makes you squirm to talk about these things. That's what I felt like doing, So, and I know that's not really mine because I'm, well, not healed, but okay, okay with all of this. So, this is for you people who, who are listening to this, making you squirm. For people who may think, this isn't me, I'm, a past, I'm past that, or whatever. Um, not this energy, it's different, okay? Right. This energy is asking to bring you stability. And look at, look at the red, okay? It's reigniting something inside of you. Okay, it's bringing back power into your life. There's a lot of power in the lower chakras that we give away or just shut down. And we shouldn't because those are like the propelling forces. I feel a lot of chariot power in here. I feel like they're, you know, if you had the reins on that, you could get a lot more out of yourself. And anything that propels us forward faster is always a good thing in my book. You know, if it can give you that extra bit of power that just kind of, well, lets you do less with more, then why not, okay? So the emperor is very st stable, and, and I know that um, the passion, the waves of passion, have not always been seen as a stable energy. And they're coming to tell you that it actually is. It is a very stable energy, okay? All right, interesting. I love that fire, too. Look at that fire. All right. Okay, so you have the Ten of Swords. Yeah. This is releasing these old ways of thinking, that perspective, okay? In this case, it's you're on the moon looking at the earth. I love this. Okay, underneath the deck, the hang one, this is a perspective. So instead of always looking up at the moon, wishing on the moon, feeling the moon's energy, okay, you are the moon. You are on the moon. You're looking at the world, okay? So you're actually looking in a very different way, and this, this is the completion of that. This is you taking everything that is considered taboo, money, sex, all of that, all those energies, and flipping them and making them become something that can be revitalized, okay, and used to your advantage. And that's important. It's important. We can't, like, package certain things that, you know, feel good and the rest, you know, go, no, I can't deal with that. No, no, we are everything. We are all the energies, okay? And that's what I've been telling you all week. It's not just about good and bad. It's about everything. It's about all the nitty-gritty, the little dark corners, you know? The little taboo stuff that we don't tell anybody else. Some of that can be transmuted and used to our advantage. It can help us, okay? And who knows? Some of the stuff you think is no good, it doesn't mean that it's not, okay? And it's time to finally get that bug off the back. Oh, I hate this card. I It's the, the card that I can't stand in this. Look at this. It's, I don't even want to touch it. Okay. Time to transform that. Okay. Let, yeah. Let that fall down and get the biggest can of raid on 
that I have no idea and I have nothing against bugs but that's way too big okay anything that can fit the length of my back has got to go okay unless he's got really cute blue eyes then maybe but no no uh, yeah no 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 so get the bug off your back get those oppressive feelings the stuff that you've been conditioned to believe okay and bring on the transformation okay let that flower open up that sensuality and let it be okay let it be okay you got two tens here very good tens too they're the two biggest oppressive tens in the deck but when dealing with sexuality and sensuality not surprising Okay, we've been hit over the head so long that you can't do any of that. That's not good for you. And like I said, money's not evil, sex not evil. It's what you do with it. It's how you use those energies that are bad. If you use them to infuse you with inspiration and you attract people and you laugh with people and you infuse them with inspiration and they feel attraction and they feel great and they move forward in their lives there is nothing wrong with that okay and if you use it in other ways to have fun with somebody you really like there's nothing wrong with that either okay I don't do casual things I never was good at casual things I don't know if it's a Pisces thing, but I just was never good at it. I know the world functions differently, so I don't judge. But I always tell people, yeah, I don't do casual. Yeah. Love with me is love with me. You have to deal with me. That's just the way it is, right? But they're showing me here with the Two of Pentacles, we're living in a world of adaptable. Okay? So, um... But I, this came out with the lost and found for sure. We have to adapt to what... To the idea that... Um, we can put these back into our, our, our... We can juggle this back into our lives. There you go, it came out. Um, these changes, these choices. Okay, we have to adapt... To bring that back in and try to do it with ease and grace okay it doesn't have to be like a stumbling block of oh what do I do with this now this is what I feel it's like what do I do with this what do I do with these now okay just bring it back into the fold that's all you have to do okay and you don't have to do it in a big way you don't suddenly have to you know uh, um, I don't know, go from zero to, you know, 60 um, without really thinking about it. That's not what I'm saying. Um, everything I say is always taking a step forward in, the, in a, a direction that you maybe haven't been in in a while or in a direction that you're, you know, anticipating, what is this, you know? Is there anything to be seen or discovered here? So it's always a good way of being, okay? And, and in the back of the card here, you almost see like a dawning of something, you know, like something's coming through. And that's, I really like that. It's like something new is coming through. Take a look, okay? Okay, so this one, there you go. Now you have the, the three of wands. And I was feeling the two of wands here, even though it's the two of pentacles and the six. The six of uh, cups, yeah. The Six of Cups has to do with inner child. So anything childlike, childlike memories, recollections, things. You may have felt very, um, I'm feeling for some of you very dreamy, okay? I'm going to say some of you were big dreamers as children. And dreamers often get involved with a lot of passionate things, especially as you get older and love comes into play and and these beautiful romantic notions, okay? So, and um, you may have felt a little bit out of water here, okay? So it's, this card can also be you going back into the flow, 
Okay, some people are going back into the flow. It could also be you. They're telling me right now that's going back into the flow. So they want you to reconnect with that beautiful dreamer part and start taking the steps forward. The three is launching, going, beginning, taking those first steps. Three, six, beautiful. To your tens, okay? It's leading yourself and others out of these shadow places as well. The devil card. This devil card just really gets to me all the time in this deck. Another six. There you go. The six of swords. Transitioning out of the forest. Okay. Into the light. To a better place. There's the light there. There's the light there. We're going. Okay. We have to take that energy and transition it into something different. Okay. And I know I spoke in the morning about others being on this ridge but they're actually telling me this could be you as well okay this it, readings are always about others or yourself it's it can always be reversed like it can not reverse it can be trans fixed trans muted trans I, I don't have the words you understand transferred right transferred so this could be you, it could be them. Trying to get yourself out of this. Yeah, this uncomfortable type deal that you've put yourself into, because I'm feeling it again. I feel very uncomfortable talking about this, and I shouldn't. I mean, honestly, I'm not. I'm a very open person. So, there you go. The seven, yeah. You know, like almost like defending the fact that you know, we have this connection. So you have to really persevere. You're going to have to be a little aggressive with yourself and really talk to yourself and find out if there's something that you haven't dealt with yet. Okay, some of these problems down here that you haven't dealt with in regards to your fire. Um, that's that's stumping you because that's what I feel. I feel like my words are stumping me. I feel like this energy is stumping me. I feel like I don't know how to express myself when it comes to this. And I, like I said, I don't have a problem with that. So remember, everybody, this Three of Pentacles is telling you that everybody is intertwined with each other. Chances are, if you have felt this way, you're not the only one. We grow up in a collective and collective thoughts and ways of thinking and conditioning. So if you felt it, others will have felt it too. So there's no need for you to be stumped or or feel lost about this or a little odd. Okay? All you need to do is start taking those first steps and trying to get to where you need to go. Okay, so I'm going to pull for the hangman, uh, the hanged one. The Wheel of Fortune, right? It's all a part of the cycles, this perspective. Okay? It's the Wheel of Fortune. Okay? Spin the wheel. Spin the wheel. And see where we're going. I haven't gotten this one in a long time. Oh, so they're all dancing around the wheel. Oh, and I love it. At the top it's written, The Doctrine of Changes. A method of calculating the probabilities of eventual possibilities. Is that it? Oh my, right. So they really want you to take it and take flight with it. You see everybody kind of dancing and it has words. And this is changes. Changes can't be more, you know, perspective changes. Of course it is, Pisces. All right, and right underneath you have the Two of Cups. So, the Two of Cups, such a beautiful card to have. It's harmony in relationships. It's the way we interact with each other. It's, it is romance, it is partnerships, it is attraction, it's kindred spirits. The more you put out there, Pisces, if you're one of the pioneers who just takes it and go, okay, well, I'm going to, I'm going to use my, you know, my sensual vibe and I'm going to attract beauty, beauty to me. You're going to let other people be able to do it as well. They're going to feel like they can unlock that part of themselves. And there's the important word of these readings. Unlocking. I feel that we have locked everything down. Underneath the deck you have creativity. The Empress. Okay. 
we have put, and the Empress is also the mother, the one who does give birth to children, and that comes from, you know, people getting together. Absolutely. So it's not about just uh, being together and doing stuff together. It's also about being together and bringing life to ideas and everything that comes with. It's the fertility. That's what this beautiful sensual energy brings in. Fertility, love, nurturing, sensuality, and abundance, okay? So it's time to indulge your energies. That's what they're trying to say here. Indulge your energies and don't feel repressed by it. Don't let yourself be locked or blocked. Unlock, unblock, and let start taking those first steps back into your beauty right now okay wow this was uh, hard <laughs> for me anyway thank you so much pisces i'm sending you lots of love light and blessings always and forever step into your beauty use all your energies use everything that's given to you okay don't let no stone unturned use everything you have and you will get everything you've ever wanted Okay? Take care, Pisces. Sending you, sending you great dreams and beautiful days. And I will see you tomorrow for the weekly.